Now I'm going to start off this video by reviewing disposable income. From the last video, we have some new information, and that is why we have to review. Now we know that disposable income is equal to the income minus all of taxes. That is what we learned in the last video. Now we can ex we know that from the last video we can expand t to make it equal to t little t y, and little t is the fractional income from the income that is their taxes, and that is equal to y d yd is then equal to 1 minus t times big Y. And all I did here is I factored out the y to get 1 minus t and take 1 minus t times y, then we will get the same thing right here. They are equivalent. Now, the next thing we got to review is uh, equilibrium. It's been a while, so we're going to talk about equilibrium. But in this video, we're going to talk about equilibrium when there is only no trade. Because we covered government, we're now going to incorporate government back into equilibrium and everything before that that we learned. So, again with our formula, so everything that we covered so far is AE equals consumption plus investment plus government. And this is what we covered. So, we know that if we we could expand all these variables though. And get that equal sign, stupid equal sign. And we know that C is, we can expand C to be autonomous consumption plus BYD. And we know that I is equal to IO because it's autonomous and G is the same thing, it's completely autonomous. And we learned these in the past videos. And if you're just joining us now, I recommend that you watch the past videos to uh, get to where we are. Because everything in for macroeconomics is interconnected. So AE equals CO plus IO plus GO plus B1 one pl one minus TY. So all I did here is, uh, what I did is, all I did is, I just rearranged our variables that we expanded, and and what happened to our uh, BYD is, well, I just showed here that YD is equal to 1 minus TY. All I did is I substituted our YD for this expanded version of YD. Now we also know that AE is equal to uh, AE naught plus ZY and this is a super familiar uh, formula for us and we've seen it throughout all my videos almost and I can tell you that for for CO, IO and GO they are all autonomous right well since AE uh, AE naught is also autonomous these three factors Pretty much, they are equal to AE naught. So, I could say I could say that AE naught is equal to C naught plus I naught plus G naught. And similarly, I could say I could say that Z is equal to B time, times one minus T, because well, we still have our Y's, and all that changes now. We now we expanded our uh, yd to 1 minus t. So then this is essentially our z. z. And that's, oh, one more thing, a uh, simple multiplier. I just want you to make sure, just wanted to remind you that our simple multiplier is uh, 1 over 1 minus z. And that, remember that if z decreases then our simple multiplier also decreases and I'm just gonna fix that well and well this is the end of this video for the next video I'm just gonna go through go through an example with us to make sure to make sure that we really solidify what we've uh, covered in this video and the past videos so these and Z goes down simple multiplier goes down thanks for